Mr. President, distinguished participants, I am honored to be able to address the Assembly of States Parties on behalf of the Republic of Slovenia. Let me express our steadfast commitment to the international rule of law and our unwavering support for the International Criminal Court. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me please to start by quoting Benjamin Ferenc, one of the distinguished personalities in international justice. He reminded the international community of a long-established rule that law must apply equally to everyone, also in the international context. The ICC is a relatively recent permanent judicial institution and we should bear in mind the complexity of setting up an international court. It has an ever-growing role in establishing accountability for the most serious international crimes and in upholding the rule of law. Given the court's increasingly active role and the serious challenges it is facing, support for the court's independence and impartiality is essential. It is necessary for the state parties to act jointly, adopting concrete measures for a successful fight against impunity and for ensuring respect for international law is key. We need to enhance mutual trust and strengthen dialogue between all stakeholders. By building partnerships, we can reinforce international peace and security. For this reason, it is crucial that all states assist the court through cooperation by offering political support and by ensuring execution of outstanding warrants. Despite the pandemic, the court has been making progress in its work. Timely payments of states' financial contributions and rational use of available funds being crucial for keeping on track. The conclusion of cooperation agreements strengthened the enforcement pillar. Increased cooperation between the Security Council and the court would contribute significantly to the prevention of atrocities, crimes, as well as to the court's effectiveness and credibility. Furthermore, Universal adherence to the Rome Statute is the goal yet to be attained. Aiming to close the remaining legal gaps in international criminal justice, Slovenia notes with satisfaction that the MLA initiative for the adoption of a new international instrument on mutual legal assistance and extradition regarding most serious crimes is steadily gaining support. Regarding one of the key aspects of the court's work, the victims' rights, I am proud to inform you that Slovenia supports the mandate of the Trust Fund for Victims. We also contribute to the fund. In addition, Slovenia strongly supports the initi initiatives for advancing the knowledge and understanding of all forms of sexual violence. To address this grave issue more effectively, international criminal law, policies and practices have to be strengthened. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in the midst of an extremely important period for the future functioning of the court. State parties must take several major decisions. Elections of the most qualified prosecutors and judges of high moral character in a credible and transparent process based on merit is crucial for the legitimacy of the court. Improving the efficiency and governance of the court by a transparent and effective mechanism for the implementation of recommendations is of paramount importance. To this end, all stakeholders should engage in comprehensive cooperation, including the civil society. To conclude, we believe that today, more than ever before, the International Criminal Court and the entire international community must join forces in building a more humane, more just and more peaceful world. This is our shared responsibility and our common goal. Thank you very much.